Hello everyone. We are back in my favorite country of New Zealand for the second round of Hack Terrafity. Check it out, folks. We are at a Marae, about to get our proper welcome. This is a very special and honestly a treat as an American to be a part of the greeting that we're about to get and the event that we're about to kick off here in Gisborne. <laughs> Master the hackathon this weekend <laughs> using a cutting board yeah. to make high precision whiteboard lines. This is called edgy, <laughs> New Zealand <laughs> style. <laughs> yeah, this is um, this is the the hack dashboard, right? So uh, track how the teams go throughout. So uh, we run pretty much everything from here. <laughs> Uh, such an absolute pleasure to have you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, working with Māori businesses to make sure that they scale internationally and that they grow and that Māori are leading the future um, for our prosperity um, because what's good for Māori is good for New Zealand. So we're here to make a difference and drive impact and to really build some solutions that hopefully in the near future you will see in the Herald on the news, scaling, becoming the next top companies of New Zealand. <laughs> Who here wants to help our company help people grow cannabis better? <laughs> medical cannabis. <laughs> the government yeah, is funding us medical cannabis, medical cannabis. Yeah, yeah. Medical cannabis. For now, for now. Um, the, point, the point that really about Hikarangi is our kaupapa of Indigenous uh, Innovation for Global Good also mirrors our mission statement of healing the land, healing the people. So we think that if uh, we can find a solution this weekend, we know that there are other indigenous forests like ours under pressure, that it could have um, really good global outcomes for other indigenous forests as well. Uh, added to our people here, ko hikurangi te maunga, ko waia pū te awa, ko ngāti purai te iwi, ko te raukumata te ngāhere. So if we can add that hashtag on the video, <laughs> 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 I want you to be part of us to help us with the solution. It's really, it's a taonga to us. It's our, it's our well-being, it's our prosperity, and um, it's, our, it's, it's the oranga of, of all of us, you know. It's, it's affecting our moana, our awa, and our whenua, so mm. help us. <laughs> mm. And Tech, where are you at, right? The, so we're starting to get there, so we're actually moving into, we're into wireframing right yeah, now. Yeah. And uh, so, I mean, I'm going to give us a sort of a 3.5. Okay. Alan, where are you? We are in the heat of day two at Hack Terafity, and all of the teams are hard at work. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little show of what the scene looks like here. Oceanside in Gisborne. Let me tell you folks, this is the most beautiful place I get to do work every single year. And to think that there's a hackathon, oh my God, there's even fans in the house, what's up? Love it, love it, love it. drive that thing? Sometimes. Come on, you know, it's good enough. It's good enough. They're giving me shit, but that's kind of what happens at hackathons. It's fine. I'll take it. I remember my wife now then going through the pop. You need to be like, oh, it's honey. You know, I'm on me. Doesn't that sound beautiful? It does sound really good. Come on, me. Especially when you say it, girl. Yeah. <laughs> you can be the voice for the ad. How many jars do you want? Yeah. <laughs> Four. Yeah. We going? I think we're good. We're doing a one minute pitch, three years problem statement, opportunity solution. So we've got clients who don't want to lose control of their content and uh, we need to be able to protect that so that they never have to lose control of their content. And we 80 percent of the community will share their data with us. We're already going and if you want to help we have pitch me forms. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> In Pōnui we will practice kaitiakitanga, producing more with less, more quality food using less land, less water, less fertilizer. If you've ever participated in a hackathon or any sort of product sprint, you know that it can be pretty exhausting and frankly emotionally taxing. That's why at these experiences we make sure that there's a balance of things that restore the mind, body, and soul. Like for example, we're having a moment of wellness behind me. I want you to take five deep breaths, really. 
really slowly. So breathing in and breathing out. Doing it five times. How many smart men does it take to figure out how to turn on the music? It is 12.05 a.m. on Sunday. I'm here with Theo. Mm -hmm. What are you eating? I'm eating Little Island Mango Organic Coconut Ice Cream. How is it? Sensational. Is it a, indicative of the regional skill of creating wonderful, delicious treats? Because I think that's a thing here in Tarafati. I think um, opening this ice cream is very much comparable to um, HT in general because is it? it you open it up and then it's just thick sort of clay-like substance but it'll give you like a little look little at that. Vish. yeah but the longer you leave it the softer it gets uh, I, I kind of feel like over this weekend people have just become so soft and as a result sweeter and because of that a lot easier to just Shoved straight into your mouth. I'll put wow. it like that. I couldn't think of a better <laughs> analogy or wrap up or thought to have at at twelve. So we have we have exactly right now thirteen hours before the end of the hackathon mm -hmm. and Theo is the only one still hacking and eating ice cream, so I just definitely wanted to acknowledge that. But your analogy, holy moly. <laughs> That was gold. I hope you all take something from that and know that over time and experience, we can become softer and sweeter mm. than you originally might think someone is. So cheers and cheer from Gizman tonight, folks. Cheers. Moments away from the final pitch here at Hack Terafity. It's gonna be pretty epic, and I gotta tell you, as someone who's had a preview of these pitches, you are in for a treat. The competition is tough, the teams have been working their bums off the entire weekend, and I think the outcome is something you're gonna be totally impressed by. Prompt, nervous, how are you feeling before the pitch? <laughs> yes, that is actually what I wanted. How are you feeling, Terry? Really good, yeah. All right, what team are you on? Uh, not the pro meeting. Teams have been hacking for the last 48 hours on solutions for seven regional Maori businesses, and I think you're gonna love the results. We took to the streets yesterday and talked to a lot of people and got some really strong feedback. So how do we get that data and utilize it to create a Manti, a digital, uh, scalable opportunity that will benefit tourists and New Zealanders? Medical cannabis is now legal in 21 countries who are passionate about their tangata whenua and prosper together. presenting amazing concepts with amazing business plans and hopefully making some new friends in the process. That's what hackathons are all about, right? Working outside of your comfort zone and doing new things. And so I want you to know that you are all amazing and you have all amazing brands. 
but we had to pick the winner based on what it says on the sheet. And any ideas on who uh, might be our winner? You got any feelings yet? Lydia Brave! this is a future of the world and I've started changing my mind and now I bring social um, people, I think people from Silicon Valley to New Zealand and I'm like, hey, this is how we do business. Like, this is how you build legacy, this is how you plan for your grandchildren and actually you may think you're cool over there with your exit strategies and your short-term plans. <laughs> but uh, come here to actually learn how business is done and it was Woo! so great to see that represented in every single one of the brands and companies today. So thank you for Again, putting our foundations down strong. Um, I can only judge you based on my judging sheet. So if you didn't answer one of the boxes, I can't judge you on that. And so we had some scraps because we knew what you did and we knew you were awesome, but you didn't put it in your pitch. Pictures are so important, right? If you're gonna go for money anywhere, if you don't get that point across in the pitch and you assume we know what you're doing, we're not gonna give you our money. So I judged you really hard based on this criteria and I wanted to be nice to you, but I was saying cow-like and I was like, if it says it on the form, we have to do it. 